We're making today a pumpkin muffin that is vegan. So we're gonna be using pumpkin uh, puree out of a can. We're gonna use some oatmeal, uh, some of our gluten-free all-purpose flour, and for sure, we're gonna use dates. A large bowl, you're gonna combine your dates as well as the coconut oil and your pumpkin. And as you can see, I've actually set aside our flaxseed eggs. So we put two tablespoons of flaxseed, uh, milled flaxseed, as well as one tablespoon of chia seeds, and that's gonna bind the ingredients together. And then what I also did was in my food processor, I went ahead and milled my oats so that it can be a finer consistency for our muffins. So I've added the egg consistency flax eggs with the pureed pumpkin and coconut oil as well as some vanilla extract. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, some nutmeg and some cinnamon to this and then we're going to go ahead and add our baking powder as well as gluten-free all-purpose flour and oats to this mix. Right. This is starting to look really good and like regular uh, <laughs> pumpkin muffins, but this is going to be delicious and a healthier version. Because I want this to be have that sweetness to it, I went ahead and added some chopped dates and I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop that in my food processor to make it more of the consistency for the okay. okay, now our muffin mix is all uh, finished and ready uh, to be placed in our uh, baking cups. And we're gonna get this in the oven and put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, so I got these in my pan. I'm gonna do a little loaf as well. We're gonna put that in that. This oven. is the final product. Just took it out of my oven, and let me tell you, I had one already. It's really delicious, very soft. The texture is really good, and I'm not even kidding. It is better than my store bought uh, pumpkin muffins. So you definitely want to try this. Definitely a sweet tooth fixer, healthy alternative. Be sure to subscribe, like, share this video, um, and check back as I go through my healthy journey and share recipes with you, as well as from my garden as well. Final product. See, no issues with the consistency in terms of it falling apart, although there was no eggs, but this is delicious. And as you can see, when I squeeze it, it's so good.